Well, Korea's listed companies are for the first time disclosing how much their top executives are getting paid, and this is because of a new law. For an in-depth look into this new law and its procedures, we have Dr. Kim Byung-ju, the head of KLMP Consulting, and our regular commentator live in the studio. Good afternoon to you, Dr. Kim. Good afternoon. So a busy day for the CEOs and uh, executive. It is the last day of uh, to meet the legal requirement for mm -hmm. this uh, disclosure of their pays. Right, indeed. Uh, last November, last year, at the end of the November, a uh, new law passed uh, governing the overall capital market here in Korea. And that required uh, these companies, listed companies, publicly trading, uh, traded companies, if they have executives who are getting paid more than 500 million won per year, they have to disclose their names and the amount of salaries that they're making. So, uh, based on this new change, companies have been thinking about how to do, how to go about it. Altogether, uh, in theory, the publicly traded companies about, uh, we are talking about 2,500 companies, but that's only in theory. If you uh, select companies that has those people who are getting paid more than 500 million won, we're talking about uh, somewhere around 170 companies. And in terms of number of people, we are thinking about 530 or so executives here. So uh, their pay level uh, last year will, most of them will come out today. That's because today is the last day According to the law, uh, the law says within 90 days of closing the business, uh, me meaning the last day of last year, these companies have to disclose this information, and today's the day. One of the reasons why these companies are all doing this today is they want to divert attention. If they release their data earlier than today, uh, bits and pieces, there could be public focus on these companies too much, they could say. And they were saying, well, let, why don't we just release all this information as much as we can on the same day so that media cannot focus on each one with too much of attention. Uh, that was the calculation. And also another calculation was that, uh, you know, it, what, what do we do about these numbers, first of all? They have to release the facts, but there is a concern if these numbers are too small. The companies don't look in competition or in comparison with other companies. But then again, if these numbers are too big, of course, politically, it's not good. So this catch-22 situation, but uh, they have to do it one way or another. And today is the day, and that's why we're getting all these numbers coming out as we speak. Uh, at this moment. Right, you're absolutely correct. I mean, we are getting numbers out, and mm -hmm. reportedly there are uh, 10 executives in Korea mm -hmm. who are getting these super duper salaries mm -hmm. of uh, more than 10 billion won. Right. That's so that's roughly right. 10 million US dollars. Mm -hmm. right. And um, uh, apparently, what we're getting right now is that number one mm -hmm. is taken by SK's Che Tae Won. Okay. And last year, he got paid 30 billion won. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that's um, not I a think small amount of that, money. That is not a small amount of money at all. Right. Something, um, you know, ordinary average Koreans may never see in their lifetime. Most the thing likely. is, the thing is, uh, one question about Che Tae-won's case is that he's been spending a lot of time uh, going, coming in and out of jail, and there, there is that concern. You know, while he was not really working on uh, spending his time on company matters, does he, does he deserve that much of pay? That was the uh, argument that has been uh, uh, potentially being raised by the critics. And now, since we have the numbers, I'm sure we'll get to hear more about those. The thing is. Uh, actually, one uh, controversial point about this is that all these names are not going to be known to us or amounts will be known to us among the real big shots in the Korean business community because only about half of Korea's listed companies actually list their true so-called controlling owners as the registered uh, business board member. So there we are saying we will miss about half of them indeed. Uh, the numbers of which uh, of whom we want to know about, and so far, uh, you know, they're saying uh, like uh, Cho Yong Jin, for instance. Well, let's start with Yi Gan Yi. Uh, we will not get to learn the number uh, of amount of money he will be uh, he was getting from his Samsung companies last year because he's not registered as registered uh, board member. Uh, same goes to Yi Jae Yong, his son, and his uh, daughter uh, Yi Seo Yeon also is not listed. And uh, Cho Yong Jin, for instance, head of uh, Shin Sege Group. He withdrew from the list last year, perhaps with the knowledge that this law is coming, some people are saying. And his mother, Yi Myung Yee, also did the same as well. So there are all these big names missing. But the names that are included, such as Che, Te, che Te Won of SK and then Yi Jae Hyun of CJ Group, who also was com coming in and out of jail, could not sp uh, who could not spend much time on uh, business uh, matters, also uh, will have their, uh, their number of salaries uh, about them, and there will be controversy all being raised about all these. 
Right. Um, the only names that I'm getting from those uh, these uh, reports and rush reports that I'm getting right now as mm -hmm. we speak mm -hmm. are from Samsung, uh, Kwon Woo Hyun, mm -hmm. and uh, Shin Jong Kyun, right. and Yoon Bu Gun, mm -hmm. and uh, they apparently have um, have been getting paid mm -hmm. annually, um, mm -hmm. you know, nearly 10 billion won. That's not a small amount of money, I suppose. Right. Actually, those names. Uh, Shin Jong Kyun is the head of mobile business in Samsung Electronics, so he was being expected as one of the best paid hired the executive in Korean business community other than so-called Jebel owners here and also Konoyan was another name head of the uh, uh, parts supply digital uh, parts supply business within Samsung Electronics was another one whose name was being mentioned Yoon Bugun is head of uh, consumer electronics and the Lee Sang Hoon was uh, another name who's in charge of strategic planning within Samsung Electronics those Big four, they said uh, before this release that you're talking about, we knew the total number for this big four, which was about 34 billion US dollars. So on average, it was about 8.4 billion. Now we're getting these real big numbers, uh, which not be all given equally to those big four. But the thing is, today we will get to learn how much Jung Mong Gu, head of Hyundai Motor, got paid last year. That's a real big news. And his son, Jung Hyun Sun, head of Kiha, his pay level will get to learn. And also LG head, Gu Bon Mu, and uh, his brother, Gu Bon Jun, and also Samsung's Lee Bu Jin, the daughter uh, of uh, you know, Lee Gun Hee, who is actually heading a Hotel Shilla business. We will get mm -hmm. to learn how much she got paid. So we have a lot of interesting numbers and interesting names that we will continue to learn before the end of the day. Right. I mean, um, I can tell you right now that mm -hmm. uh, Chung Mong Gu, the, uh, the head of uh, Hyundai, oh, okay. Hyundai how much? Group, he is getting paid somewhere around 14 billion to 15 billion okay. won. Okay. And that's what we're getting. Mm -hmm. And what's surprising right now is that, you know, following SK's Che Tae Won, the second in place in terms of their salary rankings, mm -hmm. is the uh, head of um, Pyongan LNC, which, uh, okay. which is famous for its outdoor brand Nepa. Okay, and I he see. is uh, Kim Hyung Seok, mm -hmm. former, mm -hmm. I suppose, a vice president of that country. And he took a staggering 20.1 million. Okay, I see. Or bill 20, 20 point. 20 billion won. Oh. Okay. Yes, so okay. he, he came in second place. So that's quite a lot of money um, we are seeing. Now, right. obviously, we need uh, further improvements of this mm -hmm. disclosure right. uh, rule as, you know, as we aren't getting the major ones like Lee Gun Hee, for instance. Exactly. What, what do we see ahead? Oh, we will need a lot of debate, and perhaps we will need uh, several rounds of discussion even in here in this program coming up. And you mentioned that uh, Jung Mong Gu, I think we need to still confirm it. Uh, he, you told me that he got paid about 40-something billion, right? 14. 14. Okay, that's, look, keep that in mind. In the United States, the top, uh, top, uh, top 10 best paid uh, executives got paid about 100 billion won in, in terms of Korean currency mm -hmm. last year. So it's like there's a big gap between how much they get paid in the United States and here. But still, here in Korea, there will be continuing debate about this and we will uh, check it out because this is a very important issue here when, as we talk about economic polarization, capitalism, where the future of capitalism lies and all that. So a lot of mouths and a lot of brains and heads will be all poured into this uh, debate and we'll get to learn more of those and we will share those with our viewers. Right, apparently, and this is part of uh, Park administration's drive for a more transparent, um, I suppose, e economic structure right. and societal structure. Right. So we will um, be looking forward to the major changes that are going to be made to this law and made into law mm -hmm. and um, what we'll be seeing, what improvements we'll be right. seeing next year. Absolutely. All right, Dr. Kim Young-ju, thank you so much for today. We'll see you tomorrow. Thank you.